For more than 25 years, the case has mystified authorities and sparked controversy. This is a Mickey Mouse two-bit killing that was screwed up by police departments. To this day, the question remains, who killed the candy heiress? On Thursday, February 17, 1977, Helen Voorhees Brock, one of the wealthiest women in America, left the Mayo Clinic in Minnesota after a comprehensive physical examination. Mrs. Brock was a 65-year-old widow and heiress to her late husband's fortune from the family's candy business. Her estate was valued in excess of $20 million. It was a much different life from what she had known growing up in a poor family in Ohio. Helen Voorhees was nearly 40 years old when she met Frank Brock while working as a hat check girl at a Miami Beach country club in 1950. They married the next year. He for the third time, she for the second. Although Frank was more than 20 years older than Helen, the couple had a good life together. Mrs. Brock had a passion for animals. She kept several pets and contributed heavily to animal welfare organizations. When Frank Brock died in 1970, at the age of 79, Helen continued to live at their estate in the Chicago suburb of Glenview. On that February morning in 1977, at the Mayo Clinic, Mrs. Brock received the results of her physical. The news was good. Her doctor said she was in fine health for a person her age and recommended only that she lose some weight and get more exercise. Before leaving the Mayo Clinic, she bought some bath items at a boutique next door. The shop clerk who made the sale would be the last person who could prove she saw Helen Brock alive. <laughs> 